Hi, I'm good. <clears throat> Hi, welcome to Sans TV. My name is Belinda Benz, and as you know, uh, my lives are not working at all. I can't turn them on. I can't do nothing. So we have to do it this way. Unfortunately, I want to apologize. I did do your reading yesterday, but it kept cutting out. It kept, but it kept doing everything that I do not need it to do. Um, as you know, uh, my channel is being sabotaged. So. You know, we, we do how we do and we keep it pushing. This one's called Bathroom. God bless you. And I cannot wait to see the new you from the top of the ribbon. I feel like there's some arguments that's happening here. Or there's some uh, discretions that's happening. Mine is coming in for you. You got about three things going on in your mind at the same time, okay? There's something that's going to turn in reverse when it comes down to the delivery from the opposite sex. Meaning, maybe they want you to drop something. Maybe you need to drop something. But at the same time, I feel like these three or four things that's coming in at the same time is going to make you walk away from it all there's going to be some changes that's going to be ending you're on the defense big about letting somebody back into your life if i were you i would move on and find someone new that desires you more more that can treat you like you want to be treated career is highlighted very 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 much so here okay career is highlighted also uh, entering into something new when it comes down to contracts and new people and new people and going to different places mean like it'll be a new job you could be promoted through conversation someone can promote you through something else okay money 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 is coming in for you you're gonna hear about it before you see it so right now you're thinking about the endings that has happened within the last month or so that's all that's on your mind all these endings in between that time is going to be career advances new people come away from old things and walking into new things okay those are some of the positive things that's going to be coming up for you now when you when you get into your moments of doubt that's when jealousy kicks in thinking about the past relationships what they're doing how they're doing and the behaviors that's your side mind that's what you're arguing with at the beginning of the reading that's what you're battling, battling with imbalancement. You're not balanced about it because something has happened. And you really, it's not that you don't know how to deal with it. You're being pulled, but then you're being pulled in another direction. Go in the direction where you're independent and you're learning and you're meeting new people all the time. That's where you get your best best movement and change. Like if you keep coming back over here with these same tumbling rolls, the tumbling rolls are going to get bigger, 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 bigger. But growth happens uh, when you're going and learning and pulling as you're going. So take this time to go in another direction, pull those new things and pull in those career ideas. Those new people are going to be coming and someone's expecting you to drop some bullshit. But if I was you, I'd tell you to get your ass and keep it pushing. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is what's going on for the next time frame. Okay, so what's going on for the next time frame? And this is the second month. Okay, I see it once again. Confusion, confusion, confusion. It shows that you will get yourself together, mama. Something's pulling you. But you're not pulling in the right direction. Because it's going to have you miss your blessings like property matters. Make sure you go every place that you need to go and don't forget within the next two months because there's promotion around you. Also, there's change around you. Also, you need to watch your temper. Like It's like when you get upset or, or you in the middle of, of trying to wind down, you get, get mad to the bitch. You get mad, you be ready to kick ass. But that money gonna blow its wind on your heart. And you're gonna be doing better, but you're gonna be defensive. That's what you're working with. Those defenses, those no's. I ain't going to try. No, I don't want to. No, I won't do it. You're going to be in it. No, no. You want to go? No. You want to do this? No. You want to see this? I ain't trying to see this. You want to do this? No, 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 no. Baby, you giving me more no's. You giving me, no, you giving me credit no's. Okay? So that's what's coming up for you, defense. So you got, so you're going to be coming down out of those issues. Like, it's like somebody threw something at you and it stuck you. No, no, no. Not being stuck in the infant. Not being stuck in a relationship, being, what do I do? Because first, I got to find out why this hurt. Why is it still hurting? Why do I still feel this? So things are going to come in to live, to live, to live, to live, to live, to live, to tell you you don't have to do this. You go over here, okay, you can go over there with all of that. But it's going to increase your stress. But if you go over here where there's nothing that you are expecting, that's where the expectation comes in. That's where the blessings come in. That's where all your good relationships, the opposite role, mama. Get out the bathroom. Seriously, mama. Get out the bathroom. Because there's nothing but endings. Because I know where you're trying to go. Uh -uh. He coming back. You gonna go back. But you good as dead. <laughs> you go back to 
Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Minnie ain't getting no peanuts. You know, I tried to say something that's what it Minnie ain't getting no uh baby Minnie Mouses. And if you do get some baby Minnie Mouses, they demons. Straight bad. Everything that you will get from that situation will be rotten. I mean it. You can just smell the filth of that individual. Please, I hope you'll decide. I know what you want to do. It's okay. I know what you want to do because you're familiar and it feels comfortable and you're dependent on that feeling every day. But what about what you can bring into your life without trouble? Uh, independence. Change. Higher decision making. Independence. Stress-free decision making. Can sleep at night. Can eat without <coughs> choking about the thoughts of the filth. You know what I mean. The situation has taken you to a level where it seems like you cannot recover. I'm waking you up today. I'm waking you up now. I'm waking you up right now. Wake up, mama. Smell the coffee, girl. We're in 2019. Somebody is leading you down this way and plans on leading you as far as you will go. But if you just smell the roses and get out the bathroom, it's not being stuck. It's just not knowing what to do. So you have to train your mind to counter-react to those bathroom type of situations. Okay? The counter-reaction is when the same feeling is taking me this way, I instantly kick that way. No matter if it hurts, time heals wounds in your heart if you allow it. Get into a mental exercise. Get into something that will take the stress off so you don't feel the pain. And you can turn the pain into power and into strength. That's how you do that one. And at the same time, you can mourn, you can hiss it, you can cry over having a broken heart, but you're going to feel it with all this exercise and this movement and change. You're going to know it, but you're going to feel it, and then you get to a point where you won't recognize the feeling. <laughs> because you're improving, you're working on yourself. Conscious decision to move in the opposite direction. Same thing as moving and change. Same thing as turning the page. Same thing as putting mustard on the hamburger. It's all the way and all how you work it. <gasps> I don't know about you, but I don't like sores in the middle of my forehead. I don't want nobody to see what I got up in here. So I try to put the makeup and fix it. So if it does appear, I can make it look like it's sweat. Because I ain't sweating it. You understand why I'm taking it? Get off the, the BS with this fool. Because it's not going to go good. And I don't see anyone new coming in for you. That means that you have been handled. Let's be real. I love you like a play toy and a cousin and a graduation uh, invitation. But you have been bamboozled emotionally. You're, and you don't know what to do because it, 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 that's not something that you're used to. That's not something you, you use. Somebody threw it under your arm, under your leg. Threw, somebody did you just like this. And you're like, what the fuck? But you must remember there are things that you can move. You can move your eyes. You can look around and try to see it different. You can kind of turn your neck to see what direction that you are going. You got to work it. Don't let nobody put you in a position where you can't move nothing. You're dead. Understand? If they get you stuck, you better move something. And whatever you, whatever um, that uh, God is allowing you to still maneuver while you're feeling like your body can't move, that's your deliverance. Use what you got and push. Hmm. Just send me his phone number so I can put Mr. Choco. Knock that ass out. Here we go. You hurt. You hurt. You got jealous feelings too. You're not going to be getting over this right now. It's going to take you about another two or three months. And you could be over. It could just be coming back. It's like last little, you know that last little night quill. That la that last little night quill. If I could just taste that last little night quill, it'll be over. And you scoop the cover, you ah, you know you gotta do your ah first. And if I take it with water, it'll make it easier, but the blow won't be so hard, and I won't get the full effect. But if I drink it whole and quick and drink it down, it'll move, and I'll move before it moves, and I'll be in my destination before it puts me to sleep. You see what I'm saying? Understand why I'm taking you. Move. Move on these things. Create things to put you into movement and change. Now, this is something that I do want to tell you. And you probably do want to hear this. You will be hearing from Friday Poo Poo. 
we will be here for him in May. And you care why? By that time, you're still ego from Sesame Street. Oh, <laughs> oh, Big Bird. You know, you still kind of trying to you're taking baby steps with that. But you know, energy moves fast. So it's passing you up. Pay attention. Remember, when you get like this, you better move them eyes. You better turn your head. You better gain some leverage. Because you never, ever, ever let nobody put you in a position where you have no control at all. You better work at. You better get the... Hey, that, 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 them shoulders get up. You better get the... Squirming. You better get the moving. Ask me about it. I tell you. Put me there. But, girl... I will be a ninja turtle. Oh, boom. Get the scuffling in it, girl. Been done made another uh, underground railroad before 10 o'clock at night. I do not like that type of stuff. I'm trying to make it seem as though like, like you can't move and trying to throw bowling balls in your way and do all that kind of stuff and trying to push you over your limits. And they don't see, you got to understand that you have to take things into a positive manner. They're pushing you over. You use that for strength. They're pushing you out. You say, I am a winner. They push you this way. You go that way. They push you that way. You re wrap and get up in their face. You got to work it. Fix fix it. Fix it. Can't nobody work this for you. You have the support. You have the support of who you believe in. I don't know who you believe in, but this is the time where you need to exercise your faith. What a beautiful person you are. It is your intention is screwed up because someone has got up in here. You never, ever, ever let this go. You let your Gucci go. You let your arms go. You let your weight go. You let your teeth fall out. You let your eyebrows. You let your hair fall out. But you never let this go. Because this is all you got in the Lord. I swear to God. If you can't move nothing else when you're in a wheelchair, baby, you can move that mind. Because when you can't walk, your mind's going to say, move. You're going to get the wheeling. I, I swear to God, my name's Billy and Bess. God bless you. And take this as advice. You're near, you're near. You're right there in the middle. You're trying to figure it out. You, you, you're doing this. You're doing this. Well, well, how do I move it? When do I move? You have to use what's left over and push through. Or be dead. God bless.